Hey guys, what is going on? It is Taboki here once again, and it's time for some more Delegos action. I am here on my ex Bowman. Being an X Man, I am firing away with arrows with love and fury and death. <laughs> um, in this video, I just kind of fooling around in pink Zakum, guys, and it takes me forever to kill this thing. Now, I spawned in this channel for pink Zak. This little quest thing popped over my head, and only two other people were in there with me: a hermit, I believe, and a some sort of luminous. <laughs> and I'm not even sure what they were doing. I'm not sure. What what I was doing but I knew we were in trouble and indeed we were I ran out of health potions we didn't have any all cures and this was probably one of the longest pink newbie Zach runs I've ever done in my life it was so embarrassing but we got it done and I was so proud of my team so go team of Kynians for taking down this bad boy Zach um, embarrassing as ever I had to seriously sit there and smack it because I was out of MP, out of HP, and I was locked. So, And I'm level 40 in this pink Zakum run. And I'm an ex-bowman, so all the skills I had was like a double shot or <laughs> an iron arrow, which did nothing to this thing. Anyway, so I'm sorry, guys. You're going to watch me fap around for a bit with this pink Zakum. But while you guys watch that, I want to go ahead and tell you guys a story of when I was an archer. Yes, that is right. Deboki was an archer, and it was awesome. I was at a summer camp when I was very young, when I say very young, maybe around 11 or 12 years old, and I had an opportunity to shoot my very first bow and arrow. Now, you know, when I got there, I saw that there was archery that was available at the summer camp, so I was super excited, and I saw there was horseback riding as well, so I put one and two together, and I made Legolas on a horse, and I was loving it, but I could not shoot arrows off of a horse, sadly enough, but that's okay. Um, so I got into archery range, and I was, you know, I felt like when I picked up the bow and the arrow, like just my soul connected with it, and I was like, this is life all into one in my palm of the hand and I was like I was like drawing back and I was about I was trying to shoot this little haystack with this target on it and I fired it as hard as I could and the arrow went one foot in front of me and it fell on the ground and I was like this can't be this was destiny this arrow this bow everything was pointing to one thing of me being an archer as my career but then I was like oh this is not happening so I tried again you know I was like all right I'm gonna pick up some more pointers from the teacher and I'm going to learn how to shoot this thing because I love archers so I picked it up again I aimed really hard pulled so far back my little arm was shaking with love and I let go of the arrow now when I let go of the arrow um, I felt a sharp pain um, but I saw that the arrow went into the bullseye and I was like oh it smacked it right into the middle and I was freaking out but then I looked at my arm and there was a feather because you know the arrow has feathers in it there was a feather that was stuck in my arm from the arrow. And I don't even know how that happened because, you know, apparently archers wear that wrist guard for that purpose. And my wrist guard was on backwards. So it was covering my forearm and not my wrist. So I, the arrow got stuck in my, or the feather got stuck in my arm and the arrow went flying into the haystack and I was screaming. There's like blood trickling from my arm and you know, everyone's like, you got a bullseye. And they thought I was screaming because I got a bullseye, but no, I'm screaming because I got a feather stuck in my arm. I was like, how does a feather get stuck into my arm? But anyways, Okay, guys, that was that was my story of an archer, and I was like, you know what, archery is not for everyone. I'll just stick with Maple Story. That's okay. Um, yeah, guys, so that was my archer story. Um, archer for a day. It was awesome, though, definitely. I got to ride a horse, and I was pretending to shoot arrows while on it, but it was more of a pony. All right, well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Deboki on the Legos shooting the Expo, and we'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.